All right, so the first question or first thing is, uh, uh, give us your name and the medium that you're working in. Hey, I'm Philomena Jack and I am using acrylics. Tell us a little bit about your education and background. So I have a Bachelor of Fine Arts, which actually started in photography. And along the way, I had to do all the painting classes and life drawings and all that. And I just, I loved painting and then spent a lot of time as a photographer after school. And then I moved into fiber arts. I owned a fiber arts business for a long time. And then I started painting on fabric. And uh, then I had a lot of years away from doing many creative things and I had um, I had a pretty serious surgery and was laid up in bed for like six weeks and so I had a total Frida Kahlo moment where I decided in bed I would start drawing again and then eventually I started painting teeny tiny little paintings on the tags of like when you get new clothes so I would paint on those tiny little tags and now here I am six or seven years later and I'm painting huge murals in the world and, and still some small paintings, but lots of big paintings. Can you tell us, I mean, you kind of talked about the inspiration a little bit, but uh, can you tell us what or who inspired you uh, to pursue a career in art? Hmm. You know, one answer is that it wasn't an option. I am an artist and a creative person and uh, no matter what, even if there was no title artist, I would be making things. But one of my earliest memories about education, because I also teach, um, I teach art, I teach personal development, but one of the first times I ever recognized that you could learn something creative was, I was um, maybe about six or seven, and my Aunt Valerie, who I love so much, who helped raise me, um, we dropped her off at a night class, an adult school class, where she was learning to decorate cakes. And again, I was maybe seven, and I and I asked my mom, I was like, you can go to school to learn like fun stuff. Like it just blew my mind. And from that point on, I knew I was going to study and eventually it came full circle. I have taught lots of those types of classes in high schools, like you know, night classes for adults. Um, so that first experience with my Aunt Valerie taking like the Wilton cake decorating course really was a game changer for my brain. Going back to kind of inspiration, can you tell us a little bit about um, the inspiration or theme uh, for the work that you are doing for Mosaic this year? Um, I love this uh, event each year. I love it so much. And each year I try to challenge myself a little bit more. So um, as you can see through my studio, I'm definitely a colorist. I use all of the crayons in the box, not the gray ones. Those kind of go away. Um, but I wanted to challenge myself this year to use a more simplified palette, simplified for me. So I've, I've limited myself to about four colors plus something for shading. Um, and I love candy. I love candy a lot, but I'm doing my best to take some of the um, unnatural sugars out of my world. Uh, so in my coffee cup, there is no sugar. <laughs> um, so I thought, well, if I, I can paint candy, so I've decided to paint lollipops this year and uh, paint them only in a few colors, like I said. So I'm working with reflected light. I'm working with shiny and matte. I'm working with texture. So I've used um, some primer that I, I painted on in a really uh, rough way. So there's texture. My, my last question for you is, uh, why do you believe art is important? Oh, wait, how much time do we have? Okay, so the most basic answer is that 
Art is freedom. So, especially in the environment we're currently finding ourselves, where we feel possibly more constrained and more constrained, um, if I decide I want to paint an army of lollipops, I have the ability to do that. If I decide that I want to legally paint on a wall <laughs> and spread joy throughout a community, I can find a way to do that. That is freedom. If I decide that I want to live in a world where bunnies talk to each other and they have friends that are uh, rabbit, other rabbits and hedgehogs, I can do that. That's freedom. So. That is why art is so important. Plus, you know what? Not everyone is going to want to be a sports person or not everyone is going to want to do, be coding computers. Um, so let's have some fun splashing around color. Hi, thank you. Um, so that's my last question. Um, but if there was anything that you wanted to add uh, before we end this, that might not have been covered in those questions. This is true. Um, so I want to thank the um, audience that comes to these events, the Mosaic events, or any gallery event, anywhere in the world, you have the choice to buy something from somebody else or buy something that's local, you know it's handmade, you can see where it has been made and know that you are directly supporting me bringing more love into the world, more color into the world, expressing freedom every time you buy somebody's art or share their post or give them a little thumbs up clap you know every time that you do that you're making the world a better place even in the smallest way